Now we are going to see how to create a new item recursive. If we wanted to define any item, then that item to item has to approve by our manager, right? So, which means higher officials has to approve it. Otherwise, we cannot use it. So, that is the reason uh, there is a concept called a new item request. Okay. So, here first we are going to see define item class and enable new item request. So, first we will see this point. For this purpose, just go to um, set up and maintenance and then here you click on uh, uh, product management and then search for uh, manage item class or you can go here items to see manage item classes. Click on that and then See, I will take, I'm taking here, uh, which I already created, right, my item plus that I am going to take this. So, here if you, uh, this is the BT Learn item class I have created already. So, here if you come down under the basics, uh, no, not uh, in the basics, come to item management. Here you see one section called new item request. You have to enable this new item request okay and here if you see definition workflow details now uh, if we are following workflow then uh, for approvals you just try to uh, assign this as well you just see here uh, i will explain you clearly about this sequence number okay and assign it whether it is a person wise it has to approve or uh, based on role it has to approve let's select person and if you select person, then it should be one because only one person has to, uh, uh, I mean, approve that uh, item request. Okay. If it is a group, then uh, here we have to select from the group all persons or one person. Okay. Assign to any employee. Uh, I just created one employee uh, or one user. So I'm just. Uh, yeah, selecting that and if you see here business entity which are predefined entities uh, so here I mean this approval is required for based on item association or catalog category or relationship or path structure user defined attributes related to what okay uh, this item is uh, created so that you have to define that I just selected structure uh, here association associated entity you I just selecting primary okay so yeah here these the this is the information you can select it I just saved it and close it now I am trying to create a new item request type details just I'm going to define new item type new item request type details okay uh, now for that what you have to do is just click on done this now I will search for manage new item request type details okay just enter see here manage new item request type details is there so click on that here we have to define clearly that this is new item request and the priority is what high low medium whatever it may be just select and just selecting high 
okay and uh, here is item effective date is days after new request item creation date or effective immediately once uh, you, you create item immediately it has to affect this one or else uh, any days if you wanted to assign any number of days then that you have to select it here number generation once you are while you are creating new item request this is the sequence it is following with prefix here we have given new item request mir and the starting sequence number increment by this one so if you want you can change this okay so this is how uh, uh, we have to define a, a new item request type details and see here this is the workflow like open first it will be then approval status then it will go to definition and then approval schedule completed these are the workflow we have to uh, I mean the uh, when uh, the item gets created this is the steps it will follow okay and default assigning I am going to give here underscore IMP I am just uh, giving default assigning as SEM IMP here uh, now uh, he is the default assign uh, right now I locked in with the B dealer right so I just given default assign it is user now just try to save and close it see here changes made to the new item request will not be applied in existing new item request yes so as we created now new item request so for existing this, this will not apply for the existing item request only for uh, from now whatever the item request you are going to create for those only these changes will get affected okay that is the meaning of that now uh, once we uh, define this new item uh, request type details uh, what we have to do is we have to define a approval groups which means uh, hierarchy will be there right that hierarchy we have to define that uh, we will see in the uh, next session uh, but I'll just mention here approval groups okay this is approval groups which we are going to see in the next session means that uh, I mean uh, however we have uh, we are going to see the hierarchy right if once we create a new item then uh, 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 I mean at what levels the item has to approve like uh, our delivery manager or uh, and a manager then uh, associate consultant then consultant I mean consultant associate consultant this way it has to be right so the hierarchy we will define who has to approve that uh, each and every group wise we will see in the next video clearly with the approval groups how to create and how to define this approval groups to the new item request okay so I hope you understood well about this topic right now we have seen how to enable a new item request and uh, for define I mean how to define a new item request at item class level and then uh, I mean what are all the request type details are required for new item this all we have seen thank you